Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to have a look at resource availability and how you can adjust it and the impact when somebody is not available when you allocate them to a task. So first of all, I have four simple tasks indented under this Project A title and on the resource sheet, I just have two resources, Bill and Ben, and they're on £10 an hour. So to adjust the availability of a resource, basically you need to double click into the resource and you've got this option here, available from, available to. You can also uh, adjust the working time as well. So let's have a look what happens if I make Bill unavailable. So if, if I say he's not available or is available from the 12th, and the, the NA means thereafter he is available, so he's not available until the 12th, and today is the 6th, so I'll click OK to that. On the resource sheet, it's gone to 0%. He's not available. If I go and allocate him to a task, so to click on task 1, go to the resource tab, assign resources, allocate bill, assign bill, it's gone red straight away because bill is not available. So let's go back into the resource sheet and double click on bill. You can see it's gone red there as well. And put that back to NA. And then OK. And then he, he is available. And then the red man has disappeared out of the information column. Now, if I change the working time, if I go into bill and go to change working time and need to go into work weeks and let's say he doesn't work on a Tuesday, so if it's a Tuesday today, if I go on that and set this to non-working time, OK, OK, OK again. Now, if we go back to the Gantt chart, it's still got bill on there but that starts on a Wednesday so if I change this back to a um, to Monday what it's telling me now is I've moved this before the project start date let's just go okay let's see what happens here so what happened was if I just undo that because bill is not available until Wednesday it's actually physically moved that task so if I undo again and just go back into this and go back into their work weeks. You can see it's, it's not available on Tuesday. If I take that off again, and what it's done is pushed it forward a day. Now, if I push it back, start on the Monday the 5th. I don't want to start on Monday because that's what it's asking me to do. So I can't really, while Bill's on this task, if I get rid of Bill, now it's pushed it back to Tuesday. So if I add Bill, it's pushed it to Wednesday because he's not available. It doesn't work on Tuesdays. So what I'd have to do is put Ben on this, take Bill off, and then it can go on Tuesday. So whether you change the actual availability, so you can do this, if I could say, He's available from the 12th and he's only available for that week. So at 12th and he's available to the Friday and then after that he's not available until the 19th and then thereafter, I'll just put NA after that, he's available. So basically he's, he's available from the 12th but not the 6th and he's available from the 19th onwards. In fact I'll change that not to the 19th. 26 so there's a week's gap and I'll put his working time back to he can work on Tuesdays details Tuesdays use default time okay 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 so now I've got him set so this is where people are coming in and out of a project jumping in and out and if you allocate them as you saw it will um, it'll go red if you allocate them over from this option and it will change the date or try to change the date depending on links and things if you've got him not available at all so you just need to watch out where where the changes are being driven from 
So now if I click OK to that and allocate um, Bill back onto this, get rid of Ben. Bill, Bill's gone red. So if I say this date um, is the 12th. So if I had Bill on that one, it's OK on that one. If I put this onto the 19th and I add Bill, it's got zero days there because he's not available. It's put it down to 0%. So he's not available. So if, you've, if you are adjusting the resource allocations and the availability like this, you have to be very, very careful that you make sure that everything you set is how you want it to be. So at working time, that's back to normal. Okay, okay. He's not ready anymore. Back to your Gantt chart. Everything's okay. Um, apart from this one, so for some reason he's still on the 19th. So let's have a quick look at that. So it's okay according to that. Change his working time. It's okay, okay on that one. So that might need to be manually reset. It's got a constraint there. So if I just go into this advanced start no earlier than. So as soon as possible, get rid of that date. Everything's back as default. Click OK. Tuesday, the duration needs to go back to one day because it was put to zero. And Bill, if I take him off and then put him back on, I should fix that. Yeah. One day, Bill is over allocated now because it's clashing with this top one. But if I take that top one off, that should fix that. It just fixed that. And because we've been messing about with the availability, this has put a constraint on there. If you want to, because I've now got rid of all that, we, we need to put these back to the default options. Otherwise, that gives this task a bit more priority in terms of resource leveling if you get onto that stage. So now we've got to double up again because that's just put that back to the original date, which was a Tuesday. So I'll just get rid of Bill off this one and put Pen on that one. And that clears everything up. So that's two different ways of uh, managing resource availability. Um, the third way is, of course, that they may not have been available for the full time. Anyhow, you might have only had them for 50% of the time. So that would be putting 50% there and then that makes him over allocated again. I'll just put that back to 100% um, because you don't always get somebody on a project for 100% of their time, eight hours a day. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. So hopefully that was of use to you and thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.